The profound and simple change in a digital world is costless copying. Unlike physical goods, like my shoes here, my jacket, a car, it, for those things, copying is expensive. It costs just as much to make the next pair of shoes as to make the first one. But with information goods or digital goods, you know, the file for a piece of music, the file for a movie, the software, you can make a copy at basically no cost. Now, what we want to, th that's incredible. That means we're in this world of abundance. I can give out a billion copies of my piece of software. It's what makes open software possible, open source possible, and so on. But it also means, if you think about what happens for competition. So imagine that, as I often tell the story, we have an apple farmer world. We're all apple farmers. And to start with, we are making apples. And you know, we're all competing. And everyone makes a living. If you know, there's a limit, I can't make. I can only make so many apples, so you can make apples, and someone else can make apples, and we're all apple farmers. And there's good competition, which means that if I'm a really lazy apple farmer, I'll get out of business. If you're really good, you'll get more. Great. But what happens if one day there's an apple farmer who gets, has a magical apple tree that can produce unlimited numbers of apples every night at no cost? What will happen to the apple market? Well, simple. That apple farmer will stay around and everyone else will go out of business. And the apple farmer will sell apples, not at the zero cost that it costs them, but at the cost just low enough to put everyone else out of business, to whole, have the whole market, just about. So what you'll have, that simple story tells you that as you move to costless copying and you have exclusive ownership of that apple tree, you'll end up with monopolies, and you'll end up with dominance. That is just night follows day in a digital economy, monopoly follows free competition with exclusive ownership. You will get monopoly. And worse than that, you'll get monopoly where once Mr. Gates, who owns this apple tree, has the monopoly, he can use that monopoly to prevent other people competing with him or her. They can actually use that to prevent new people coming along. So we need a solution to that. And the solution to that is quite simple, to make the apple tree open in the sense, allow everyone access to all the apples. However, the challenge then is how do we pay the person who put the effort in to create the tree in the first place? It costs money to make new movies, to come up with new software, to write new music. We need to pay creators and innovators well so they go on creating the things that can then be infinitely shared. So the question is, if, how do we do that? Now, if the only option were monopoly rights, were patents and copyright, we might say, oh, it's really sad they produce monopolies, but it's better to have a monopoly and have the medicine than to have no medicine at all. It's better to have windows than no windows at all. But that isn't the case. We can make open information and pay creators. And the way to do that is to replace monopoly rights with what I call remuneration rights. Remunerations are really simple. They say, instead of a patent which says you're allowed to control who use this, it says you will get paid, you will get remunerated from a, from, a, from a source of money that we set up, the government or we collectively set up with subscription fees, you will get paid from that fund based on how much your creation is used. Now we already do that by the way. For example, music, when it gets played for example, in a bar, you don't ring up Madonna and say, hey, can I play your music tonight? No, what happens is the, all the bars in Spain or New York or London, they pay money into a fund, they pay a subscription every year, and that money is then given out to Madonna or whoever else based on how, mu much, music there was, they, how much their music was listened to. And obviously with things like Spotify, we already see something like that for all music. It's a subscription model and then money's distributed. The problem with Spotify and the problem with the current well, the platform economy is we have another monopolist just at another level up controlling those platforms. Now what we need to do is make those platforms kind of regulated. They want to be platforms where the music is open, we all have to subscribe and pay our subscription fee, but then the price that Spotify or anyone else can do is set. We have a fair subscription fee and then the money's given out to artists fairly. Or if we do it for medicine, we can have a spotty farmer. We do Spotify, but for medicines, we put our money in a fund through a subscription fee. The money goes to innovators who create new medicines. Their medicine recipes are open so they can make the medicines really cheaply and everyone can have them. 
but the innovators get paid. 